Few professions have risen to such a mythic status as that of pirates. While pirates are often thought of having lived centuries ago, there are still plenty of pirates roaming the open seas even in 2020. The only problem is that sometimes these modern-day pirates bite off a little more than they can chew. From the Gulf of Aden all the way to the Indian Ocean, here are five pirates that simply messed with the wrong ship. If you're a pirate and you plan on attacking another ship, a good rule of thumb is to avoid attacking one that can be easily accessed by the country's navy. A few Somali pirates learned that lesson the hard way when they attacked a Chinese vessel in the Gulf of Aden. In late 2010, pirates in the Gulf of Aden came down on a ship with the hopes of taking it over. Fortunately, it wasn't long until the navy showed up to intercept their efforts. The navy laid down heavy artillery on the pirates' boats, which was much smaller than the vessel they were up against. As you can see in the video, the Chinese navy fired around the ship and into the ocean with the hopes of scaring the pirates and forcing them to surrender. After an extremely one-sided battle, the pirates threw their hands into the air and surrendered. In a separate incident that same year, a strike team was sent in to rescue the trapped crew being held hostage by pirates. The ship in question was heavily looted. Significant damage had occurred, including bullet holes through some of the windows. It may have been an intense confrontation, but it was one that worked in the Chinese Navy's favor. The pirates were captured, and everyone was safe. In January of 2012, the Royal Navy discovered a pirate boat in the Indian Ocean and decided to intercept it. They had initially fired several warning shots from a Royal Navy helicopter. When the pirates failed to stop, the Navy decided to go with a more tactical approach. The Royal Marines descended upon their vessel in speedboats and boarded it, capturing 13 pirates total and taking their weapons. Somali pirates are a serious problem off the Somali coast where British vessels often have to traverse. They often rake in hundreds upon millions of dollars in ransoms after hijacking ships. There have been international efforts to stop them, and yet they still pose a serious threat. You can see one portion of this intense operation in the following video. A helicopter fires directly in front of the vessel to get it to stop. Once the boat is stopped moving, the Royal Navy was able to get in there and lay down the law. Defense Secretary Philip Hammond said that people should be proud of this success, stating, The Royal Navy and Royal Marines are playing a crucial role in securing and protecting international sea lanes that are vital to globe trade. This operation off the coast of Somalia is a clear demonstration of Britain's ability to tackle piracy that threatens our interests. In addition to stopping this particular band of pirates, royal authorities were confident that it sent a message to other Somali pirates that such attacks would not be tolerated. One interesting wrinkle in the story is that the pirates were unable to be sent back to Somalia. A few years back, Somali pirates tried to attack a Norwegian tanker. It proved to be a disastrous mistake as the pirates quickly found themselves being chased away by a British vessel. But just when they thought the British vessel would give up, the Canadian warship called the Winnipeg came in to finish the job. The Winnipeg helped chase down the pirates who were finally caught after a long seven-hour expedition. Additionally, they were captured after the pirates had thrown all of their weapons overboard. You can see the Canadian crew in action as they lay down a heavy assault on the pirates. A gunman from on board a helicopter fires down in front of their boat, trying to get the pirates to stop in their tracks. 
Unfortunately, the pirates had to be immediately released after their capture. The reason is that the pirates were way outside of Canada's jurisdiction. In April of 2011, Dutch Marines came across an Iranian fishing boat that had been hijacked by pirates. The skirmish occurred off the coast of Somalia. Video footage was quickly released showing the Marines going in and apprehending 16 pirates, who were later taken into custody. However, not all the pirates were as lucky to simply be arrested. In the firefight, Dutch Marines ended up taking the lives of two pirates. This incident marked the first time Dutch forces had ever fatally wounded pirates while patrolling the Gulf of Aden. Once it was clear Dutch Marines had the upper hand, ten of the remaining pirates attempted to flee in a high-speed skiff. Six more were detained on board the fishing vessel. Some of the other pirates had sustained injuries and were treated as such. But again, it was immediately unclear if the pirates would be able to be prosecuted. However, not all hope has been lost in regards to prosecuting pirates. In 2010, five Somali pirates were able to be convicted of attacking a Dutch Antilles flagged ship with automatic weapons, in addition to a rocket propelled grenade. It became the first piracy case to come to trial in Europe within the modern era. In case you noticed, all of these videos took place somewhere off the coast of Somalia. For many years, piracy was allowed to flourish in that part of the world due to a lack of a central government in Somalia. However, 2013 marked the decline of piracy in that region when the United States Office of Naval Intelligence reported that only nine vessels had been attacked by pirates that year, which was much lower than in years past. Piracy still occurs in that part of the world most notably with an event in March of 2017, when pirates were able to seize an oil tanker. It was the first successful hijacking of a large vessel since 2012. But, for the time being, it's probably best to avoid taking any boat excursions off the coast of Somalia anytime soon. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, then be sure to click the link on screen to check out another one of our videos. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.